everybody hope you're doing well I'm so happy you're here and by the time you're watching this it will be my birthday and I will be on a little weekend birthday trip so I thought it'd be fun if we went through what I'm going to pack in my makeup bag I used to be so guilty of overpacking on trips just for everything in general clothing skincare makeup and I've learned from my mistakes and realized we really don't use as much as we think we will so I've learned to really streamline what I bring on trips and what I plan to bring for makeup I'm going to fit in this bag right here this is a Givenchy bag and I got it as a gift with purchase a few years ago I think it's the perfect size for traveling I love that it's pink I love that it's waterproof and it can fit quite a bit inside of it and for this trip I'm only taking on carry-on I'm not checking in any bags so it has to fit in my tote bag that I'm going to be carrying on the plane so let me walk you through my choices of what I'm gonna pack in this bag. So for my base I will be packing the Chanel Water Fresh Tint. This is the only base product I've been using lately especially as the weather has been warming up. This is the fourth bottle that I've gone through and I'm hoping I can squeeze another month out of it. But I'll definitely be repurchasing it. It is my most repurchased base product and yeah I feel like it just lets my skin breathe. There's this magical quality to it where your skin Still looks like skin, but just so perfected. It's nice and blurring, and there really is nothing else quite like it. It's definitely one of those, if you know, you know sort of products. So this is definitely coming with me. Now for contour, I'm going to bring this one from Westman Atelier in the shade Biscuit. I have been reaching for this every single day since I purchased it. It's definitely replaced my previous favorite, which was the one by Makeup by Mario. It is so buttery. I can just have my whole face contoured in under a minute because it is very easy to apply. It's so smooth. It blends beautifully. And because it is a light lighter contour shade it just offers that softer contour look which I'm really enjoying and it is in the mini size which is a bonus for traveling as well and I still have quite a bit of product left I am curious to see how long one of these lasts when I use it every day so I'll definitely let you know but yes this is for that question definitely coming with me on the trip because we're in the summer I am going to bring a powder with me but I haven't been powdering much lately so I am questioning whether this isn't a necessary choice I'll let you know when I return but I am going to bring the Sisley Blur Expert with me this is my one and only powder that I own I love it for underneath my base or over my base I use it in all different ways um, this is just a very reliable product a wonderful staple I have sung its praises many times here on YouTube and just in case my skin reacts to being in a different climate and it's suddenly producing a lot more oil I think this would be something nice to have but I will let you know if I actually use it or not now when I was first considering which blush to bring I immediately thought of my Surratt blushes because I have them in this sort of palette right so it provides many different options but then I was thinking I really don't enjoy bringing many makeup brushes on my trips that's why I've gravitated more towards cream products so that's why I finally settled on bringing this blush by Sisley this is in the color number six passion this is a very beautiful neutral pink with some sparkles in there and it's just one of those blushes that goes with everything the packaging is small lightweight and I don't need a specific brush for it so that's in the end why I'm bringing this blush now for highlight what I've been loving and using almost every day is this one by Serrat it is their torch lumiere in rose diamante I'll show you a swatch of it so this is how it looks I have shown it previously and I just find it offers that really natural looking finish and it's very long-lasting adds a little bit of something something and it's just a little bit of excitement to the cheek while still looking natural so I will be bringing this for eyebrows we have absolutely zero shockers here so I am bringing the Brow Freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell but I've gone through a lot of this and then I'm also bringing the Gucci Brow Pencil in number four I haven't really been using the pencil so much lately I haven't penciled in my brows today I really just rely on this for the spoolie but you can get that anywhere but just in case I wanted to fill them in just to fill maybe extra done up one evening then I would use the pencil but for every day even for going to work right now I'm not filling in my brows at all I'm just kind of letting them do their thing and I just shave underneath them occasionally and 
I don't do anything else to them. So I just brush them up with the brow freeze and then I feel good to go. For eyes, I am bringing Violet FR's Petite Culotte. I particularly love this product as I can use it as a base or I can use it on its own if I just want something on my eyes, but I'm not necessarily fussed about having color or anything. I can definitely use this and it lasts all day. I am particularly loving it right now in the summer weather when makeup is more likely to melt off your face. So this is Petite Glut. It could also be used as a face product. You know, you could use it as a contour or a blush, really depending on how you apply it. So very versatile. Now this next choice might surprise you, but for eyeshadow, the first quad I thought of that I wanted to bring with me is this one by Byredo. Siren. Now I know you're looking at this thinking, this is not the most versatile eyeshadow product I've ever seen, but I am really into colors lately. I'm really enjoying pinks, purples, oranges in my wardrobe. So I'm thinking about what I'm going to wear and how I can use my eyeshadow as a sort of complementary accessory to that. So I can definitely see myself using, you know, this color and this color together. Or maybe I just want to use a pop of blue or maybe blue. I think blue and pink look really cool together too. Or if I want to stay neutral, I can just use this color right here. Let me show you. This shade right here is definitely the creamiest of the eyeshadows in this quint. Look at that. Oof. It's just this golden, silvery, taupey shimmer. Just stunning. Ah, while we're here, might as well swatch all the shapes for you. So let's have a closer look here. So these are the different shades in Siren. I just think it's one of the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes ever. I am completely smitten. I say this is one of my most reached for eyeshadow palettes. I don't always feature it on this channel because I know it isn't a very popular palette, so I'm not sure if people are interested in knowing about different looks with it, but it is definitely one of my most reached for palettes. I think the shades are phenomenal and it is very versatile. I would say this palette is my ideal daytime palette and for nighttime my favorite palette is Fet Noir by Byredo. So yeah, this one here, I just think it's mm, so scrumptious, so sexy, so delicious. It's just such a smoldering eyeshadow palette. If I were going for longer and maybe going out for a lot of nighttime events, I would bring this, but I don't see myself using it. I think Siren is enough. Just doing a check-in. So this is how the bag is looking so far with all the products inside. And we still have a lot of room in here and we only have a few products left. So it's looking good. The one eyeliner I'm going to bring is this one by Lancome, the cold pencil. I haven't talked about this much on my channel, but I've used it a lot and I use it daily. This is wonderful for tight lining, for creating a really electrifying smoky eye. It is just a wonderful pencil. It doesn't smudge. It's so smooth yet precise at the same time. I prefer this formula over my Sisley liners and I really wish that they had more color options for this formula because it's just incredible. So this is the one eyeliner I'm bringing and usually what I do lately is I'll just do it a little bit in the corner of my eye and not anywhere else and you know just have the shadow do more of the talking but if for nighttime I wanted to go a bit heavier this is lovely to have as well. For lips I would be lost, lost without these Sisley lip liners. I want them in every single color at this stage. This is the only formula I enjoy and reach for, even above my Chanel ones. While the Chanel lip liners uh, have beautiful colors in them, it doesn't matter. I always want to reach for the Sisley. I either reach for Beige Natural or Chocolat every day. Let me show you swatches of each here. This is Beige Natural and this is Chocolat. And I just love both. I reach for both pretty equally. It depends on what look I'm going for. This is the perfect everyday sort of lip liner. If you're not sure what kind of lip liner to put on, this is wonderful. If you're wanting a bit more of a contour, or if you're wearing a darker sort of lip, or I even just love wearing chocolate just with some lip gloss on top, and that looks wonderful too. Speaking of lip gloss, I always carry this lip gloss in my purse. It is the Tom Ford lip gloss and in the buff. 
and it's just this beautiful iridescent pearly shade with a hint of pink and it's lovely on top of your favorite lip liner color or just your favorite lipstick where you want that little bit more shine but it's not too wet looking it's a very elegant formula of lip gloss has a very fun scent to it and i just love it always carry it with me so that's definitely coming along for the ride now I have two more lip products on Ambrune and one of them is the Strius Van Noten lipstick in the sheer formula in graphic ochre. I am wearing it right now over the top of this Sicily lip liner in beige natural and the Tom Ford lip gloss on top. So I try to apply as many products as I'm showing you on my face today. I always have this lipstick on hand and as you can see I've already used quite a bit of it. It's just phenomenal i love just reapplying it it is always with me very versatile color goes with many different makeup looks you don't really have to think about it and i can just trust that it will bring that kiss of life to my face now it's so interesting i was just going to tell you that i'm also going to bring this clarence lip oil i featured this in a video recently this is their intense formula and i have them in the colors intense camellia and intense rosewood and i just swatched them but as you can see, they are quite similar to the Julius Van Noten Graphic Ochre. It's almost like Graphic Ochre is a hybrid between the two. So here is Intense Camellia and this is Intense Rosewood. So do I really need to bring these? I'm not so sure. I think I would be just fine with Graphic Ochre. So I changed my mind. So these aren't coming with me. I really don't need all of these shades. But another lipstick shade that I definitely will be bringing is this one by Hermes in Rouge Granat. I've talked about this many times. This is an absolutely stunning formula, stunning case. Feels like absolute magic on the lips. So let's say I'm just wearing Violette Far Petit Gulat and you know a little bit of blush and then just pop this on. Perfect, I don't really need anything else. And of course, then we have mascara. So I have my Shiseido eyelash curler that I'll be bringing and the mascara I'm using at the moment, the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara. This mascara is very reliable. It gives me a very pretty, fluttery lash, good amount of volume. And I do just use one mascara at a time. So this is the one coming with me. And finally, I'm bringing a travel size bottle of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I love carrying this around. I always have one in my bag. When I finish applying makeup or right before bed at the end of my skincare, it just provides me that boost. So this baby's coming with me. In terms of brushes, these are the brushes I'm going to be packing with me. So I have the Sonia G Niji Pro brush. I really wish I had the mini version of this, but I don't. This will be really useful if I need to use the Sicily Blur Expert or if I just want to blend in my products a bit more. I'm of course bringing the mini jumbo base by Sonia G. This is from her mini Kayaki set. This is useful for applying the Chanel Water Fresh Tint and also just to blend in my cream products really well. And then I'm bringing these three eyeshadow brushes by Chico Hodo. So I have one of their blending brushes and two different eyeshadow brushes and I feel that these are more than enough for anything that I might come up with with the Byredo palette and that is it that is what I am bringing so as you can see it zips up nicely everything fits in here nothing is squished and I'll be able to remove products easily and find products easily that won't be an issue going to fit in my carry-on really well while still allowing me other room for you know my skincare and other essentials and this is also a great exercise in teaching me what is it that I truly love and what is it that I am using really often what are my staples and are my products complementary to those or are they just sitting there collecting dust well talk about that in an upcoming video i would love to know what you consider to be your essentials to bring with you on a trip like for example you may have noticed i didn't bring a bronzer don't really feel i need it especially with the westman atelier contour since it is such a lighter color i if i apply it in a certain way it can give me a more bronzy look i really don't want to have to bring a bronzer and then a bronzing brush i just want to keep it as minimal as possible while not feeling restricted or lost without something so i feel that that amount is good for me but i'd love to know what are your can't leave the house without sort of products and how do you pack them or do you have a specific method yeah i'd be really curious to know and it would be really fun to share with each other like what colors we go for do you go for more neutrals or do you find yourself bringing colors and 
It's interesting to see what we immediately think of when we're going to leave for somewhere and what to bring. I really hope you had fun watching this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a beautiful day or evening where you are and I cannot wait to chat to you soon. Bye.